What is going on, Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today is a very exciting day. A lot of big news that did come out. So I'm going to talk about that more so on this expansion front. And obviously, you guys know I love Lucid's expansion. And as well, I just want to talk to you about how big money is getting in and what that means for us as investors. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships. Link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, let's get right to it so you can see the live ticker to my left we are currently green as you can tell we were a little bit more touching the red at some stages 10.3 million as far as overall volume 38.5 is the average and 1.3 million shares being purchased by institutions and hedge funds just today alone and you can tell at the very top right here all the broader indexes are very much red even the nasdaq is down 3.21 percent but yet for the most part we have been green because everyone is really loving the recent news that is coming out for lucid so you can see a lot of volatility like i said but still very beneficial to get in as well like i said big money is getting in so this is all the big options activity that is done for today and you can see even more on the short term there's a lot of 20 dollars strike price calls a lot of big money as well 56,000 51,000 59,000 1.48 million a 25 dollar put and in case you guys don't know when they do it that high of a strike price that is very much bullish so overall, a lot of big money is getting in, and this is just more so a breakdown of all the calls and puts. So you can tell even today, there's a lot of calls being purchased, insinuating upward momentum, upward price, and very exciting, like I said, for us as investors. So a lot of big money is getting in today and also the last couple of days. So that's something for you to keep in mind, but more so as well, the recent news that is coming out is this. So the AMP facility. So there's news both on the AMP facility and also AMP2. I'm gonna talk about both. So on the AMP facility, AKA in Arizona, they did purchase an additional 120 acres for 17.3 million. And this picture right here, this post from Twitter, easily describes exactly what they did purchase. So again, very exciting. And not only that though, this is very close to the railway. And I've always said, especially in previous videos and things like that, the UP railway is a huge deal for Lucid because they can easily ship it to Houston and then from there just boat it to obviously Europe if need be or even just around North America. So UP, I think that is a understated big catalyst for Lucid, especially in the long term as well. And even on the previous earnings though, Peter did say that the transportation costs were absolutely a lot higher than expected. And we even saw based on the CPI data, it was up 3.1% from the month prior. So go to show transportation costs are increasing yet they can actually ship it on the up for significantly less than just trucking it very exciting for lucid in my opinion especially with the whole future of lucid on the app facility and now there was also news on the app 2 facility so in saudi arabia and looking right here there's a lot of information that we already tentatively know so they are saying the app 2 is going to have 155,000 units per year as far as the final capacity which would bring lucid to a total of 500,000 evs per year again Again, that's something that all the stuff that we already knew but this right here is new information we already knew that the PIF was going to help fund as far as the expansion into Saudi Arabia but does go to show right here there was a signing ceremony recently and it does show that 3.4 billion in aggregate over the next 15 years through financing and incentives is being given to lucid so overall very very beneficial to lucid and i've already said in the past ultimately i believe it was roughly about four billion that's all at facility was going to cost at the end of the day so if they are offering 3.4 billion towards that over a 15 year span definitely helps lucid with the bottom line and its balance sheet and as well it just goes over the recent news about the saudi arabia government and how they did a 100,000 vehicle order so very exciting and looking at the picture right here this hands down is very lucid this looks exactly Exactly like what lucid is going to be the future and it looks very bright I'm excited about this and clearly you can tell based on the market how it was despite the massive red day that is going on lucid is holding up fairly well so clearly a lot of investors like that and more so looking at some of the technicals as well we are getting to that very pivotal point we are still between the s1 and the pivot so despite everything despite the massive red day things are starting to
to look up. So like I said, a lot of good expansion for Lucid. Clearly a lot of big money is seeing that getting in, all anticipating high price targets for Lucid. And right now, I just wanna give you a quick update on some short information only because I use that as a good benchmark. Despite the red day in the broader market, they are closing out some of their positions. So 0.59% they are closing today, which works out to be 1.72 million shares being returned. And this point I really do find interesting. So cost of borrow average is 26.95. So obviously you guys have heard me rant about this. Technically the cost of borrow and short interest usually should be inverse, but cost of borrow yesterday on the average was around 45. So the fact that it's dropped so much, but yet short interest is also dropping shows that it's not really incentivizing for shorts to increase their position, meaning that there might be big price increases very soon. So very exciting for Lucid as well. 22.17 is the short interest, which currently as well, there's 129.5 million shares being overall shorted and a short score now did increase as well. So 84.06. So like I said, this is a good summary of everything you need to know. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the app news, about the app two news, about obviously big money getting in. Let me know ultimately what your thoughts are and what you've been doing, whether you've been buying, selling, holding, whatever it might be. Let me know if you haven't already hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. And again, if you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.